Yahaya Bello takes it up with Buhari and the Senate. Says governors are not afraid of direct primaries, but there should be options. Hello, my wonderful people. Governor Yahaya Bello is not joking at all. Mm -hmm. What has gone on, and um, you know, right now, uh, Senate has said it should be direct primaries, no more indirect primaries. They said the governors prior to this time has been taking advantage of the people, so they want to ensure that you know the people have opportunity to you know conduct the primaries the way that you know deem it fit and you know uh, support them better than the governors having a say it's rather causing a serious um uh, hiccup because we can see that governors of APC at different time has sent messages and already lobbying that Buhari do not sign the bill being proposed by the House of Assembly. Yahaya Bello is taking it up and saying, listen guys, we are not afraid of direct primaries, but what we are saying is that there should be options in this matter. Anyway, my wonderful people, this is what is happening. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Yahaya Bello, governor of Kogi, says governors are not completely against the adoption of direct primaries for political parties to select candidates, but there should be option. Direct primaries entails that all party members would be involved in the selection of candidates. Why the indirect mode require the selection of delegates to elect candidates that represent the party? On Tuesday, both chambers of the National Assembly approved the conference committee report on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, which recommended that mm -hmm. all political parties must adopt the direct primary mode. The decision has elicited various reactions, with stakeholders such as the People's Democratic Party kicking vehemently against the recommendation. A meeting of the Tripartite Committee of the All Progressive Congress APC on Tuesday also failed to reach an agreement on the ruling party will adopt direct primaries. Speaking on Wednesday in an interview on China's television, Bellu said the lawmakers should not allow law on the basis of sentiment without considering the situation of the country. He said the adoption of direct primary will lead to an increase in budget of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and frustrate small political parties that do not have the resource to organize direct primaries. On the issue of taking the party back to the people, the question is who takes the party away from the people in the first place? It is the legislatives or is it the legislatives or the executive? I think the party remain with the people, he said. I think strongly. We, as governors, I don't think anybody is afraid of direct primaries. No governor, I can tell you, not APC, nor PDP, not AGP. At least there are parties that we have today that nobody particularly is taking the lead. Let me tell you that I will always caution that whatever, whenever there is making and people are discussing on bringing on new laws, taking decisions, we need to, we need to not be biased in our approach. We are not saying anybody is afraid of the red primaries. The draft of the party constitution, especially its affairs, APC, could be situated with one particular mode of primary, and this is for us to adopt another. The draft obviously show that all that is going on is a true representation of what the party and what the people want. So right now, what we are saying is that uh, the people are saying we we are not uh, we are higher bello particularly is saying it is time for you know parties to begin to decide who and how they want election to be done not some people um you know taking that lead and you know uh, uh, uh ins insisting on how things should go in case you're not aware the governors already 
already lobbying um, the, 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 the Attorney General of the Federation. Sadly, the Attorney General of the Federation is that person who is so corrupt, who can be seen, whose hands are everywhere dirty, and anything that is wrong, anything lobbying, anything of those things, welcome to the Attorney General of the Federation. Okay, this is how he rules. This is how he does things. Currently speaking, as we say now, the Attorney General of the Federation is that man who people are beginning to see as somebody who is not truly representing the interest of Nigerians. To a large extent, he feels very much like he's in representing his own interests and not the interest of the general and the, and the people's heart and true reflection. Yeah. The Attorney General, anything that is not really right, there is uh, something fraudulent, something not quite, that's where you see the hands of the Attorney General. His, 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 his hands are everywhere, anywhere, and everything that you can speak of that is wrong. Okay, and so the Attorney General of the Federation, as we speak, is that man who is linked with some of this and most of these things already happening. Okay, so he's the one being lobbied now to ensure that Buhari do not sign this very bill. I will explain to you what this bill is about. Now, the direct primaries that the um, exec, the legislative and the executive are asking that is being that should be passed into bill. What it stands for is that the party as a whole decides who represents them. So every Tom, Dick, and Harry takes part in the selection process. Understood. Yes. Now, the indirect part of that says, so some people who call themselves, for instance, the secretary, the president, the vice president, I mean, the executive of the party, whether you like the person or not, wakes up one morning, probably, for instance, somebody has come to see them and say, hmm, if you make me the flag bearer, every one of you will be made a senator. Every one of you will get a hundred million naira. Every one of you will have blah, 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 blah. You said you want your brother to be an ambassador. I will give two members of your family. So these are things that they promised themselves. And so when they come, the executive just speak. Mr. Lagbaja, you are representing us as flag bearers. Everybody in the party do not have a say. So this is what they are trying to stop. And the governors are saying no. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.